Right then, weird things are happening. Not only did my sister's water bottle decide to disappear, uh, fall in the middle of the night, her walking bottle that I got her with her card inside, but I just changed the cameras over and within 10 minutes, with, with just hardly any, any video footage, the other, the older camera that I just got out to use is totally flat. Now I have noticed this before sometimes, if I keep both the cameras too close together in the bag, one would discharge the other one. That must be the answer because it's totally flat, it's really weird. What I'm doing now, which is allowing me to do it at the moment, I've got the new camera attached to the battery charger. And there we've got a whole all down there, the coombs. Just looking for deer, see if I can see. We're fortunate, I was very fortunate catching those deer when I did. That was very, very lucky catching them. No, they're keeping very out of the way. Poor things. I'll just have a look in that little copse over there, see if I can see anything. Just over there, so see if there's anything there. Nope. No sight. I've seen the buzzard flying low, but that's when the battery went dead. So it's only all, all, it's all, all that's done is taking a few photos. So I'm just relying on this one at the moment. So not only did I not put a memory card in that one, now it won't, uh, <laughs> it won't allow me to use it. I've only got the one battery charger. Oh, look at this scene. Look, look, when you come around the corner there and see that, right in front of you. It's breathtaking. You come around and it hits you. The bank there. It really hits you. Let me just stop to take a picture. Right, continuing on. I think they call this Lady's Edge. I do get muddled up sometimes. Because sometimes it looks like it's the path down in the valley called Lady's Edge, but then they seem to call that Shepherd's Coombe. So, yeah, so when you're down in the coombe now, you look up here, you can look up here. I'm sure people try to climb up this bit as well. It's very steep, isn't it? Once again, because the bracken isn't out yet, you can see him a lot more. And I'm just looking to see if I can see any deer, but nothing. I can't see any deer at all. I'm just going to zoom. There's one little spot there I'm just going to zoom into. See if there's anything there. No. They'll be there. They'll be there somewhere. So I've managed to do a few videos today. I'd like to visit an area of interest to myself locally before I go off on any of my trips. Um, I always like to feel that Somerset in me when I when I when I'm away and I can think of this place. I might get a bit scared or lonely or make, take the wrong turn in or you know I can take myself here and uh, you know 
I can feel a bit safe. I feel so at home here, honestly, because I've been coming here since I was a small child. And... You know, I just love it. I, can't, I just love it. Every bit of it. Every single bit of it. This bit. This bit here. This is the bit I love. Yeah. These coombs. These beautiful, beautiful coombs all year round. I've got pictures of them before all the green. Oranges, browns, yellows. Now we're getting limes and different shades of green. Patches of brown. And then wait until this lot comes out. It's trying to already. Wait until this is one mass of blue purpley colour. Oh. And the gorse yellow. It's going to be so beautiful. You can see where they do burning. It's uh, done for a reason when they burn and there's a special name for it. I mention it every time I do a video here. I just love it here. Love it. Let's take some more pictures. Right, here's the plantation. Looks like they've planted a We'll have a look. Just, I thought it looked smaller, the plantation, than usual. I just wondered if they've thinned any of the trees out and perhaps planted... It looks like they've planted... Yeah, that's why it looks smaller. Oh, yeah. They've done a lot, haven't they? Yeah, they've... What they've done, they've... um planted some new ones. I thought it was looking like it had been thinned out a bit. Look, here's some of the old ones and they've put new ones in. I presume. I hope they survive. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's one in there. It's very tiny at the moment. A little tiny fern. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 new little trees. There you go, look, there's a little baby one. Oh, isn't that sweet? Let's add some little stones. These must represent different people, I think. I'm glad they've done something, because I did put something on to say I wondered what was happening up here so any that have died they've been replaced oh that's good because when I came up here on remembrance time it was there was no I don't know it just looked like no one cared about the place but since then they've tied it up they could have freshened the stones up that's what I thought um, the kids could have come up here one afternoon in the summer and pa repainted the stones. <sighs> These trees were planted to commemorate the men and women of Holford and Kilve who served in the war 1939-1945. Yeah, These stones have been here a few years now because I've been coming here for a couple of years. Not only a couple of years since I decided to make my way to these tall trees and then I found out what, what they represented and now look at the beauty they're surrounded by overlooking they're overlooking Holford and they're overlooking Kill further over and that awful monstrosity <laughs> that terrible hinkly point that might not always be there though, got to remember that even if it's 300 years time that might be gone this place will be here Good. Over and out.